You've got dads that are stay-at-home dads, you've got dads that commute, you've got um, blended families, you've got stepdads, you know, dads that only have their kids at weekend. And we're all going through these particular challenges, but it's those three letters, that DAD, that puts this common thread right the way through it. I've got a six-year-old um, called Natty. My last role was a senior analyst for a media agency. What that meant for the family was we were comfortable financially, but I wasn't present. So I'd leave really early in the morning and get home just about in time to put him to bed. I hate to admit it, but it's, it's true. There were some of the periods where I'd put him to bed, um, but I'd kind of wish him to sleep because I was had the phone like that looking at client emails because that was my priority. And there was a period where the stress of everything got um, quite considerable and I ended up getting chicken pox for the second time, courtesy of my son. But that put me confined to barracks for two weeks. Um, and I realised then I played with him more in that two weeks period than I had done in months. And he was really pleased to have me around a lot more. So that was kind of one of the key deciding factors for me to actually just turn around and quit my job and walk away because I didn't want to live that life anymore. Dad the Soul is a group that I set up. The idea is every month we have a different theme and it's the dads contributing. So think, you know, if you're a dad that's an engineer, you're going to be really good at Lego. Come in and teach those skills is so much fun. As a bloke, it's really difficult to maybe organise a play date. You can't really ring up somebody else's wife and say, you know, do you fancy hanging out? Because there's still those negative connotations. It's kind of hard to break into these groups anyway if you're a mum. But if you try and do it as a dad, it's even worse because the questions come up, you know, why haven't you got a proper job? You know, what are you doing here on a sort of a Monday morning? Um, are you here to have an affair? Or the, the common one, and it's, it's terrible, you know, people seem you're a paedophile because you actually just want to sit on the floor and play with kids. Just thought, wouldn't it be nice if I created something, a, a safe space for the dads to get together? Because if you, you go to mother and baby groups, you are kind of on the outside. But wouldn't it be nice if, you know, we barred the mums and it's just the dads? The most important thing about Dad to Soul, the ability to have a conversation, to be able to sit there or stand there and play and build up, a, you know, a friendship with somebody is a really nice thing. And I think men don't generally talk about those conversations. It's, you know, did you see the match? Or, you know, I'm doing really well. You don't actually stick your hand up and go, you know what? I'm really struggling at the moment and I need some help and I don't know how to ask for help. Being able to have these, this safe space where to encourage those conversations, yeah, I think that's the number one for me. It's incredibly important for dads and kids to hang out together. You know, kids need strong male role models. You'll see the effect on kids where the dad's not present. They don't have those, those role models to look up to. You need to be able to show, I think, that you know, you still can be strong and a provider but you can also be caring and loving and sensitive I think there's a yeah there's a massive difference that those three letters DAD can have <laughs>